Hey what's up guys, Voltmark here and today I'll be doing another Minecraft gameplay commentary. Uh, today I'll just be talking about just random stuff in the news. Uh, for instance, the Trayvon Martin case um, that's just been starting up again. God, this is laggy. Not laggy, glitching out. Um, so yeah, new stuff about him. Personally, I think that uh, I don't know what to feel about it. Uh, it could be. I'm not sure who to side with. Uh, there is increasing evidence that Trayvon Martin could have attacked him first. After all, he is like six foot three, um, according to the Wikipedia page, six foot three, and on the autopsy bed, uh, 160 pounds approximately, 158 if I remember right. So that's pretty decent size, and he was a football player, so he had to be really lean to pull that off. Uh, I doubt he was 160, actually, probably a little bit more, because there's no way. I'm around 6'2", 160, and really lean, low body fat. Uh, I'm a distance runner, and I lift weights and whatnot. Um, so, and I look pretty lean and in shape, so I'm guessing he was about the same physique. And uh, I could probably easily take a five foot seven, uh, 180 pound overweight uh, uh, Hispanic American gentleman. Uh, I myself am Hispanic, but I'm pretty sure I could take one of those on no problem. Uh, so I see no reason for him not to be able to do that. So, and uh, he, he has had a history of aggressive behavior. Trayvon has, I should say. So it's not completely uh, unlikely. I can't just, I can't, it's not completely, uh, yeah, not completely unlikely that he could have attacked him. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, it is it, pretty possible. Also, the witness said that there were high-pitched uh, screams coming out saying, help, help, help. Uh, then she said, like, oh, they're high-pitched, it must be Trayvon's. Well, he's a six-foot-three dude, uh, fairly heavy, fairly well-built, and a football player. I don't think he's the one with the higher voice. I'm pretty sure the five-foot-seven Mexican guy will have a much higher voice than him. So I, she, I think she was trying to help uh, a prosecution out, but uh, that was a big mistake on her part. Clearly, uh, Trayvon would have had the deeper voice. And not helping the, uh, not helping the prosecution out there one bit. But anyway, so was, that's just some rambling. Uh, what else is in the news? Paula Dean, uh, she was a uh, cook on the discover on the Food Network. She had her own cooking show. She cooks rather, um, southern dishes. If anybody cares, uh, she said an ex expletive, uh, racist remark that she's from the south and it was 20 years ago when that was a little bit more acceptable and I say l a little bit to preface that uh, it's never acceptable but uh, back then socially speaking that was okay uh, I don't agree with that by the way uh, but yeah uh, so yeah there's no real story there uh, people are giving her a lot of crap sponsors are dropping her for something that she did 20 years ago I'm pretty sure nobody cares uh, that was just the way to get the Food Network. Well, since her her show was uh, dropping in ratings rather quickly, so I think that uh, the Food Network was just trying to get her canned early as possible. Oh, see that pun? Canned. God, I'm so boring. Uh, eh, whatever. So, yeah, nothing much going on there. Uh, Supreme Court, Prop 8, gay marriage. Yep, that's a thing. That's a thing now. So, gay marriage will happen again, once again in California. Uh, what else is in the news? Uh, let me see here. Barack Obama's going to Africa for a trip. Uh, that's really a waste of money. I don't see why all these officials have to go on trips, even though, like, with modern technology, you, you don't need to get, physically be somewhere to communicate with another diplomat, you could just use Skype and social, well, like, digital media to get that accomplished. You don't need to do that. Heck, even back then, back in the day, you could have used, like, a telegraph. There's no reason why this has to happen. And waste all the money traveling. I'm pretty sure it cost on the order of hundreds of millions of dollars. So, completely waste of taxpayer money. Uh, good job, guys. Uh, the money's going to a good cause. Uh, is that all the rambling I want to do today? Yeah, yeah, I think so. 
Uh, oh yeah, the Boston bombing guy just got indicted 43 minutes ago, according to LA Times. And, yep, okay. Uh, oh yeah, new immigration bill, I'll talk about that later. Uh, so, sorry, this is probably really boring, I'm just rambling. But uh, be sure to rate, comment, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's been Voltmark, I'm signing out, see you guys.